Well, I did something today. I went and got me a 2000 something or another Pontiac Torrent. And as you can see, she is smashed up. But there's a positive to this. I mean, I only bought it for a buck 30. So, you know, I'm, I gotta have some fun with it. It runs and drives, just needs a radiator. I guess it had AC before caught in this accident too, so I might even get a condenser. But I'm planning on taking, and uh, well, I don't know. I'm gonna have some fun in it. One thing I realized after I bought it is it's all wheel drive. So, you never know. You never know what might end up doing with this. Looks like a fun project. I actually got another one of these right over here. That's a good little car. I think I paid 600 bucks for this one. And I rebuilt the top end of the engine. So I put new head gaskets in it and everything. And uh, this one's in mint condition. I mean, oh, it's in good shape. I shouldn't say mint condition. It's in good shape. But this Pontiac over here actually has less miles. A lot less, actually. I think like 50,000 less. It's got 126,000 miles on it. We'll see, uh, we'll see where this project takes us. I'm kind of excited to... To get her going. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. First I'm gonna, I already had to cut off the bash bar under here was I don't know you could tell it's a freaking just ginormous mess but the bash bar under here right here it was bolted in right there right there right there and right there and also over here on the same side and uh, it was smushed in so much. Here I'll show you. It was smushed in so much, I had to take and cut out this, and cut out these, and cut out that, and cut out that. Because there was no other way for me to get the bolts. I was kind of able to get these two. Um, but yeah. I might even be able to take and zip tie this uh, bumper back on there somehow. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I might be able to get her done. We'll see. <laughs>
in the most difficult spot in the world. Why did they put that there? Let me show you guys, because this is ridiculous. How do I look? Do I look good? Here we go. Now you see it. See, and look at it. It's got a 13 millimeter bolt through it, too. See that? Look at this. How are you ever supposed to get to that? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Now it's time to take, and while I was cutting, the, um, the, the bash bar in the front off, I kind of nicked, I nicked these wires just a little bit. And I cut this one clear in half, but I got it stripped back so I can wire it back together. That ain't no big deal. I just got to tape up a couple wires. Actually, I might have to rewire the that one for sure because it looks like there's not much left holding that one on. Um, that one's good. There's a lot left there, but there's almost nothing. It's getting pretty thin. And then also, I did that on, I believe this is the... It looks like the, the fog light plug. So I cut that off too, but that ain't no big deal. I'm gonna have to go through, uh, I'm gonna have to do uh, redo a couple of these wires too, cause that's pretty cut. At least those two for sure. I think that's the only other two I nicked. So, excuse me. One other thing I did notice is that. That must have been hitting the tire when I was trying to turn. Man, I hope it didn't cut that tire too much. It doesn't look like it did, but it definitely was hitting. So I'm gonna have to take a hammer or something to take and uh, smash that out of there or cut it out of there or something. Well, my goodness. I don't know if that fits. Well, it looks a lot better. <laughs> That'll do it. That will do it. I tell you what. I thought that thing was going to be stuck there for good. I thought I was going to, I was going to have to cut this all out. I mean, we got a lot more to go, but shoot. That ain't nothing. Well, here she is in all her glory. She ain't touching no more. I thought it was going to touch still, but oh, man, that's, that's nice. Excuse the transmission fluid on my pinky there that's nice looking that's nice <laughs> well there she is I'm just gonna clean up all this crap out of the way here and put, maybe put my tools away I know it's kind of redundant I have to put I, I, that's just how I am but yeah the main the main damage you can see well obviously it's that's pretty well bent and then also that i mean you can see the difference just in looking at them too i mean that thing is just sandwiched in there but uh oh wow i didn't even think about all the stuff that's in here well hopefully i never have to take this windshield washer reservoir out and never have to remove this line again never have to pull this harness and all that but you know i was i did hear about a trick where you can take and actually hook a chain to the car and then pull on out you know what I mean just back her out but I don't have transmission lines in now anymore so I can't really do that so and what I think I'm gonna do with these since these don't really have sufficient transmission coolers and the transmission cooler is usually in the radiator and in this case it was in the radiator I'm gonna actually take and use a little um, finned radiator that I can make or not make but just steal off of something else we got a bunch laying around actually I got one right here hold on one second there it is right there. This is actually a LS power steering cooler. So as you can see, that's going to be sufficient. It'll be a lot better than coolant and um, it'll be a lot better than coolant and transmission fluid all in the same thing. This thing will cool like crazy. That transmission fluid will stay nice and cool. I really don't know why I'm putting this thing back together. But hey, I mean, I'm a freaking mechanic. You know what I mean? If you buy a smashed up car for 130 bucks, you're gonna fix it. You know what I mean? I mean, I just I just know how to do it. Not only that, it doesn't have to be perfect. I can put an LED light right here and an LED light over there. You know, Minnesota doesn't have that crazy restrictions for for 
driving around a car, you know, I can even take the hood off or straighten it out a little bit if I have to. You know, it don't matter none. I mean, she is a beat up old girl. And one thing I did realize, hold on one second, I'll show you. It being all wheel drive, I wanted to take a look under here and see how it was. You know, how they had it. And sure enough, there's the drive shaft, so it isn't just a chrome all wheel drive sticker on there. It is actually all wheel drive, but this carry bearing is completely out. I don't know if it's because of how the body shifted, why it's out like that, or what the deal is, but it's pretty far off it looks like. I don't know. Maybe it'll just take this mount and kind of move her forward a little bit. But we'll see. Anyways, I think that's all for this time. Um, I do have a good amount of time uh, in a video here. Um, it might be a short one, it might be a long one. I'm not sure yet. We got plans today to go and look at a camper. Um, and I guess maybe I can just give, next time I can give a video, an update. I guess on kind of what has happened over the past year or so. Um, I mean, you guys have, on my YouTube channel anyways, you guys have seen that truck. Uh, we sold a couple of vehicles. We got a whole bunch of different stuff going on here now. So, And I just kind of decided to uh, start this back up again. Just because I got this project. I figured that's... That's when you start a YouTube channel. But uh, let's see how this, let's see how this turns out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. So enigmatic and charismatic. Gotta live static, gotta get at it. Never pragmatic, cause we live tragic. I can't live average to be a life's magic. Turn it up in the back cause I'm grabbing. Everything I want, get in my way. And I'm